found this intarsia diagram of a fat car. And I thought this would be a good exercise to try the high accuracy board at 0 .005 specs. And I'm using the Logitrace 2018 software. The drawing is complex. So when I traced out the different parts, some of the lines I let go right through the other line because it's easier to cut those off later. First thing I did was to trace the outline of the whole car. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want that vector to be closed because I want to cut this car right out of a piece of plywood. A lot of the tracing on the inside parts are unconnected tracing, which could lead to an open vector. But in the case of in the middle, where I'm just going to be doing some engraving, an open vector is not a problem. As I always say, save your work frequently, because if you make a mistake, you can always go back to that good copy. For some reason, in this case with this diagram, tracing with the polylines was a better method of tracing than just using the plain tracing selection. Usually with me, it's personal choice whether you pick tracing or tracing with polylines. I prefer tracing with polylines. Initially, I used just the plain tracing selection and I found the diagram was not going well. So I switched back to tracing with polylines. This project's going to require some vector editing because I overran a lot of the lines, like I said, because it's easier to overrun them and cut off that little tail than it is to try to extend it with a node editor. To keep track of what you've traced and what you haven't traced, you could use a colored pencil. I just keep an eye on the monitor. I have the monitor close beside me and I can see what I've done. When I say color pencil, I mean you could stroke off the parts you've done. I loaded the diagram into uh, Aspire, the vector editor, Aspire 9.5, and you can see here where I'm trimming some of those vectors that overhang using the scissors. I also had to edit some of the vectors. I had to extend them. You can see here why well, I had to pull that vector right down over a line and then cut it off. The diagram cleaned up nicely and now I'm ready to run it through the simulator just to see how it's going to look. You'll see here in the simulation the diagram looks good. I just used a pine background just to give it some color but I think we're ready for a cut. The diagram didn't take long to digitize. Now I'm going to load the DXF file into the laser software and prepare for the cut. What I'm doing here is a lower power cut. I just want to scribe the diagram, make it look like black Indian ink. I'm using quarter inch walnut plywood for my cut. I had programmed two DXF files. One file for the scribe, the inner cuts, and the other file for the outer cut to cut the car right out of the piece of plywood. What you're seeing here is the cut to cut it right out of the piece of plywood. I could have also programmed to cut out each part and put it back together, but I felt that was going to take too long for this demonstration. I just wanted to show how easy it was to redraw this car, basically tracing a diagram and digitizing it. 